students all of you today we are coming to the ninth unit that is atoms atoms and nucleus it will go like this the first part of that lesson is atoms right so it is uh, very necessary for you to learn about atoms because every matter in the universe is made of atoms elements consists of atoms of the same kind and uh, compound and mixtures consists of atoms of uh, different kinds right according to rutherford atom is of spherical shape it has a tiny positive core that is at the center and the electrons are moving around this core what is called nucleus nucleus is a place where the entire positive charge is concentrated and i suppose about 99.9% of the mass is also concentrated in the nucleus that means the maximum amount of mass is concentrated in the nucleus nuclear part of the atom right so according to rutherford this electrons are moving in the space surrounding the nucleus in orbits a fixed at orbits just like the orbits of the planets around the sun right, right? okay in circular orbits so the nucleus is discovered by a very famous experiment called rutherford jager martsen experiment rutherford jager martsen experiment that is uh, simply a, a bombarding experiment alpha particle bombarding experiment alpha particle is coming from a source alpha particle is nothing but it is uh, a heat helium nucleus that means helium atom from the helium atom the electro electrons are uh, removed from the helium atom then the part remaining is what is called alpha particle right that contains uh, two positive charges two e two positive charges so alpha particle you must know that alpha particle has two positive charges it has no negative charges why because alpha particle is nothing but it is helium nucleus from the helium atom the electrons are removed from that alpha particle is emitted by radioactive substances right this uh, alpha particle is emitted by radioactive substances are now directed towards a gold leaf gold is chosen because gold can be beaten into such a thin uh, a condition that it, it can be made thinner and thinner and thinner such that the thickness of uh, the very thin gold uh, uh, plate gold sheet that can be of the order of the radius of uh, uh, order of the radius of an atom right or order of size of an atom or diameter of an atom right order of diameter of an atom you see so because gold only can be used for this purpose gold can be beaten 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 into thinner 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 such that its thickness can be of the order of the size size i mean the uh, diameter of the atom right so when an alpha particle is uh, directed towards that uh, we can just uh, uh, confirm that we can just uh, assume that uh, the alpha particles are uh, interacting with a uh, yes, single atom right alpha particles are also very smaller and that is interacting with a smaller atom right okay so this is the condition right so alpha particles uh, when directed towards the gold leaf it is seen that uh, most of the alpha particles are passes through the atom that means uh, atom has a large amount of space large space it is there surrounding the nucleus and uh, uh, the alpha particles can easily pass through it without any hindrance right and this experiment is called rutherford jager martsen experiment jager martsen experiment remember that that is only shown here most of the alpha particles these are alpha part incident alpha particles are just passing through the space of the atom right many many alpha particles goes without any deflection few deflect sir few deflects with the smaller angles and the very few deflects back retraces the path at an angle of 180 degree right this is only very small angles sir. that means number of atoms deflected with the uh, larger angle is very very less and uh, 
less angle it is very very more that means angle decreases number of atoms increases angle increases number of atoms decreases this is n theta that means number of atoms deflected with the, the angle of with a certain angle of uh, scattering theta is representing angle of scattering greater the angle number of atoms deflected with the greater angle uh, decreases while number of atoms uh, uh, deflects with a very small angle increases so these uh, alpha particles which are going straight without any deflection their theta is equal to zero <coughs> theta is equal to zero here it is small angle deflection here small angle deflection and here it is 180 degree deflection. 180 degree means very 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 less number of uh, alpha particles are returned or retraces the same path it is projected towards uh, that means uh, head on just like a head on collision it goes and it comes back because alpha particles are also positively charged the particle and this nucleus is also positively charged as i said uh, nucleus is a core center core where the entire positive charge of the atom is concentrated and it is very solid and also rigid the central part of the core of the atom is very rigid uh, and so it goes and it comes back uh, but the number of atoms deflects the maximum angle vertical 180 degrees is very, very less. From this, it is very clear that the atom has a large space in it and nucleus is spread only in a very small region. So these are that also nucleus is positively charged because alpha particles are positively charged due to repulsion, they go back, they go back. So these uh, are very, very important. This experiment is called uh, uh, Rutherford. Uh, Jager Martin experiment. This is also called as alpha particle scattering experiment. This is done with a uh, uh, high speed alpha particle, and we use uh, a gold leaf uh, for the scattering experiment. Why gold leaf used? The, the reason is already explained. And now, this is uh, now this I am going to tell you is what is called uh, imp, uh, what is called. Uh, <coughs> The distance of closest approach, there is one more term we have to clear. What do you call distance of closest approach? So now alpha particle is directed towards the nucleus of an atom. This is nucleus. So I must write here nucleus. This is the nucleus. Alpha particles are directed towards the nucleus of an atom. That uh, initially had a kinetic energy. With the kinetic energy, it is approaching. When it approaches, this is also positive charge, alpha particle also positive charge. Due to repulsion, it's the kinetic energy goes on decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. At the same time, when kinetic energy decreases, the potential energy goes on increasing. Why that? Two charges, alpha particle, two positive charges. This also has number of charges, what is called ECD, number of positive charges. Means the atomic number is ECD, both are positive. Therefore, as the distance uh, decreases, the potential energy goes on increasing. Potential, suppose this is Q1. The amount of charge present alpha particle is Q1, and the amount of charge present in the nucleus is Q2. Then potential energy is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into uh, what is called the potential energy is equal to what? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1, Q2 divided by R. So this is the first unit electrostatics we have studied that. In this case, Q1 is equal to 2E and Q2 is equal to ZD. Why 2E? Because alpha particle has two positive charges. So what is telling is that when an, an alpha particle is directed towards the nucleus, it has a, an initial kinetic energy, very big kinetic energy it has. With a big kinetic energy, it is approaching the nucleus of an atom. So due to repulsion, its kinetic energy goes on decreasing. Uh, by law of conservation of energy, energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. This kinetic energy, decreasing kinetic energy is converted into increasing potential energy. At a place, at a stage when the kinetic energy becomes equal to zero, then potential energy becomes maximum. Right? At that position, the alpha particle stops for a very small duration of time. Then it goes back, retraces the same path. Right? So where it stops, from where to the center, the perpendicular distance uh, from the center to the point where the alpha particle stopped is what is called uh, the 
the distance of closest approach. Distance of closest approach. The distance of closest approach is not a constant. That depends on the initial kinetic energy of the alpha particle. If the initial kinetic energy of the alpha particle is more, then distance of closest approach becomes less and so on. Right? So distance of closest approach also can be calculated by us. So that is uh, that means uh, at the position where the alpha particle stops, uh, we can write half mv square is equal to. I am writing here in this corner, right? Half mv square is equal to. That means the potential energy is equal to uh, kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. Potential energy I can write as equal to one by four pi epsilon zero into alpha particle is equal to two e. Uh, into this is equal to Z D uh, the whole divided by R0. Whole divided by R0. Am I correct? So R0 can be calculated. So you can write a kinetic in terms of kinetic energy, you can write K alpha you can write. That is this is equal to K alpha is equal to this value 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into uh, 2 into Z E square divided by R0. 2 is at the e square, 2 is at the e into e square divided by r0, right? So k alpha I wrote because this is the kinetic energy of alpha particle. Therefore, r0 can be calculated. r0 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2 into z e square, the whole divided by k alpha you can write. What is k alpha? k alpha is equal to half m is there. This is the distance of closest approach. As I said, distance of closest approach is not a constant. That depends on the kinetic energy of the alpha particle. If the kinetic energy of the alpha particle is more, then R0 is less. R0 is the uh, R0 is the uh, distance of closest approach. So distance of closest approach also done, right? So for that also we are using an alpha particle only. Alpha particle is directed towards the nucleus of an atom. So it is having a kinetic energy as both the charges, that means nucleus and alpha particle, both are having positive charges. As the alpha particle approaches due to repulsive force, its kinetic energy goes on decreasing. When kinetic energy goes on decreasing, that kinetic decreasing kinetic energy means increasing potential energy. At the position where kinetic energy becomes equal to zero, where potential energy is maximum. Right? The, at that position, the alpha particle stops. From that position, the center of the nucleus, if the distance is measured, that is what is called uh, the distance of closest approach is found as equal to R0 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, 2 into Z d square divided by A alpha. So this I am remo removing now from the figure, right? From the board. Right. So this is removed. Okay. So... Marts are there, Marts are Jager and Marts are expert that also removed. And this also removed this graphical question. And the next is what is called impact parameter. What is impact parameter? Impact parameter is the perpendicular distance between the velocity vector and the line through the center of the uh, center of the nucleus, right? So this is the velocity vector, the perpendicular distance drawn. With the center, with a line which is passing through the center of the nucleus to the velocity vector is called uh, away from the nucleus. Away from the nucleus, like a distance away from the nucleus, the distance is measured, perpendicular is measured from a line passing through the center of the nucleus to the velocity vector is called. That means uh, that, uh, this is the velocity an alpha particle is moving or traveling uh, with the velocity v. And this distance is what is called, uh, uh, what is called, uh, <coughs> from the center of the nucleus of the atom. And this is what is called impact parameter denoted by V. Right? Impact parameter is found to be equal to V is equal to Z e square. V is equal to Z e square. What? Theta by 2, the whole divided by 4 pi epsilon 0, 4 pi epsilon 0 into half mv square. This is what is called impact parameter, right? Okay. So the value of b is depending on cot theta by 2. 
if cot theta by 2 is more, then b is more. <laughs> Am I correct? So, cot theta by 2 is more means uh, the, the value of theta by 2 must be, <laughs> value of theta by 2 must be less. More value of cot theta by 2 means uh, the value of theta by 2 must be less. It is very clear. When the distance b increases, distance b increases, the angle of scattering decreases. So for b to be very small, cot theta by uh, b to be very large, b to be very large, cot theta by 2 must be more. For cot theta by 2 to be more, the value of theta by 2 to be less. It means theta is less. That means angle of scattering is less away from the nucleus. That means away from the center. Away from the center, uh, the distance increases. Alpha particles can go with the small angle of scattering. Right? So this is an atom. This is the nucleus. Right? This is the nucleus. And this is the, the whole thing is an atom. And alpha particle is uh, passing through it. Away from the nucleus, this is the so passing through the nucleus. From the nucleus, the perpendicular distance from the nucleus with the velocity vector is called uh, the uh, what is called impact parameter. So impact parameter is less. Impact parameter is less than when cos theta by 2 is less. When cos theta by 2 is less means theta by 2 must be more. That means the theta must be more. If that means if a line is drawn here like this, uh, it goes like this. That means the angle increase, uh, angle theta increases. That means B becomes less. This is a straight line you must make, right? B must be, uh, B to be less. What do you have to do? B to be less means, yeah, this is the angle. Angle must be more. Angle must be more, right? That means cos cot theta by 2 to be less. For cot theta by 2 to be less, B must be less. Cot theta by 2 to be less means theta by 2 must be more. That means the uh, alpha particle which are moving close to the nucleus, that the deflection, angle of deflection is more. Scattering angle must be more. Am I correct? This is a very important yeah. condition. Right? If B, if B is equal to 0, B is equal to 0 means what? B is equal to 0 means Cot theta by 2, uh, cot theta by 2 must be equal to 0. Cot theta by 2 is equal to 0 means 1 by tan theta by 2 is equal to 0. It means what? Uh, 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 tan theta by 2 is equal to tan 90. That is theta by 2 is equal to 90 degree. Theta by 2 when becomes equal to 90 degree, tan theta by 2 is equal to infinity. 1 by infinity is equal to 0. Right? Therefore, theta is equal to 180 degree. Theta is equal to 180 degree. Right? This is the condition. <coughs> that means uh, <coughs> B is equal to 0. B is equal to 0 means uh, the B is equal to 0 means the this is going here like this and is coming back like this. That means the alpha particle is moving along the line which is passing through the nucleus, then beta is equal to zero. That means there is the velocity vector and the line passing through the center of the center of the atom is called the nucleus is equal to zero. B to be equal to zero, then uh, one by tan theta by two, one by tan theta by two means cot theta by two is equal to zero, right? Cot theta by two is equal to zero means one by tan theta by two is equal to zero. That means Theta by 2 is equal to 90 degree because tan 90 is equal to infinity. 1 by infinity only is equal to 0. Therefore, theta is equal to 180 degree. So, B to be 0 means it is uh, uh, it is uh, what is called a uh, head-on collision. It is coming line to line with the nucleus. Then the alpha particle comes line to line with the nucleus. Theta B is equal to 0. Then the alpha particle is coming towards it due to repulsion force, it will stop some, somewhere at a distance away from the nucleus and it will have to uh, return through the same path. Through the same path means uh, there is no difference between the line passing through the center and the velocity vector. Both are the same line only. Therefore, B is equal to zero. So this is a very important relation. B is equal to 
zd square cot theta by 2 divided by 4 by exponent 0 into half mp square half mp square means we can write k alpha we can k alpha alpha also we can write so these are the things about impact parameter also done next is rutherford atom model according to Ruther, rutherford atom model atom consists of a central core called a nucleus where the entire positive charge and 99.9% .9 of the mass is concentrated. Right? <clears throat> Radius of the nucleus is of the order of 10 raised to minus 15 meters. Radius of the nucleus is of the order of 10 raised to minus 15, uh, 15 uh, meter. The electrons move around the nucleus in various circular orbits as the planets which are moving around the sun. In this case, electrostatic force is providing electrostatic force between the <coughs> between the electrons and the nucleus will provide for the centripetal force so this is a very important uh, point rutherford has put forward what is that yeah, atoms are of spherical shape and they are and the size of the uh, atom is uh, of the order of uh, 10 raised to minus 15 meters right radius of the uh, nucleus is of the order of uh, Minus, that means that is uh, almost uh, the size of the atom. The range of uh, size of the atom is also of the order of 10 raised to minus 15 meter only. And electrons are moving around the nucleus in fixed orbits. Fixed orbit, that also what is the shape of the orbit? Circular orbits. Right? Circular orbits, but the different uh, electrons are moving in different planes, uh, just like the planets around the sun. Every planet is not in the same plane. But different one is like this, other is like this, other is like this. Okay, in different planes, uh, planes, uh, circular planes, uh, these uh, planets are rotating around the sun. Just like that only. The electrons are also in a, uh, a just, uh, just like in the planetary motion, how the planets are moving around the sun. In the same way, electrons are revolving around the nucleus in fixed orbits uh, in different, different circular planes. Am I correct? Okay, electron has always, always there is an attractive force between the positive charges and nucleus. And this attractive force is for the force between electrons in the outer space of the nucleus and the nucleons. Nucleons are positive charges. The force of attraction is electrostatic force. The electrostatic yeah. force between electrons and the protons provides for the centripetal force. So we can write. <coughs> Centripetal force uh, is provided by electrostatic force of attraction between the electrons and the protons in the atom, right? Okay, that end point right now. That means we can write, we can write electrostatic force, uh, electrostatic force, everybody knows, those Q1 and Q2 are the two charges, then electrostatic force is given by uh, E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 q2 divided by r square this is inverse square law in the case of an atom the amount of charge in electron is minus e and uh, or the amount of charge only you take the amount of charge only the magnitude only you take then q1 uh, q1 is the charge of the uh, uh, the nucleus that is zd and q2 is the charge of the electron that is simply e then the magnitude of the force is given by for an atom F is equal to what is for electrostatic force of attraction is given by 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into is a D that is Q1 into E that is to the electron the whole divided by uh, what is called R square what is R? R is the radius of the circular path in which electrons are orbiting. So electrons are orbiting circular orbits of radius R then there is a force of attraction between electrons and the nucleus. That electrostatic force is given by 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into C D into E divided by R square. This provides for the uh, what you call uh, the kinetic, uh, sorry, the uh, 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 what is called centripetal force. This is equal we can write M into V square divided by R we can write. This R and R cancels. So we can write what? M V square is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into is that e square divided by r we can write m v square m v square from m v square when we got means we can uh, calculate the value of uh, energy what is called kinetic energy can be calculated 
therefore kinetic energy of electron is equal to what kinetic energy of uh, electrons is equal to half in mv square multiply both sides by half half mv square is equal to half into half into 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into is a d square divided by r this is equal to z e square the whole divided by 8 pi epsilon 0 r so this is a, another beautiful relation kinetic energy of electrons in the later stage we will find the value of radius also then we will apply it we will get some changes but generally this is the expression for kinetic energy of an electron which is revolving around the nucleus of an atom right is that e square divided by 8 pi epsilon 0 r right now potential energy of the electron is equal what potential energy potential energy of the electron is equal to potential energy is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 q2 divided by r right 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 q2 divided by r take q1 is equal to z and q2 q2 is equal to minus e right in this case we have to take separately that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 is z into minus e the whole divided by r r is r only right so this can be written as equal to this can be written as equal to uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into z square minus there is a negative a negative sign z square divided by r so this is the relation for uh, potential energy So potential energy is equal to no? uh, minus uh, that is equal to minus uh, z square divided by 4 by epsilon 0 r we can write. So this is the potential energy, and the other is the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to z square divided by 8 by epsilon 0 r. Right? Potential energy is equal to this value. Right? the negative sign shows always that uh, in the case of an atom negative sign shows that electrons are always attracted to the nucleus there is an attractive force always existing between the nucleus and an electron right now total energy is equal to total energy total energy is equal to uh, v plus r k plus p k plus k plus p we can write k plus p means uh, this plus this that means uh, Z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon 0 r minus z d square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. When we calculate this, you will get this is equal to minus z d square divided by z d square divided by 8 pi epsilon 0 r. You will get again the negative sign is coming, right? Potential energy always uh, the total energy is sorry. the total energy is always uh, having a negative sign with that this shows that electrons are always uh, bound to the nucleus that means there is an attractive force always acting between the nucleus and the electron right okay so then for the uh, now it is a very important that actually uh, uh, the uh, very a uh, typical atom we have that is uh, hydrogen and actually about hydrogen only the maximum uh studies uh, took place right for example when you come to bohr atom model there also hydrogen atom is preferred because hydrogen atom is simplest of all atoms so that you know for hydrogen atom when you see then kinetic energy is equal for hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom kinetic energy is equal because every most of the time we Uh, we take kinetic at uh, this uh, hydrogen as the model right because that is simplest of all atoms yeah that is a kinetic energy is equal we will write this one in kinetic uh, for hydrogen is it is equal to 1 then kinetic energy is equal simply e square divided by 8 pi epsilon 0 r and potential energy of hydrogen is equal to what minus e square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r and also total energy is equal to Minus e square divided by 8 by epsilon 0 r. This is for hydrogen atom with energy. Total energy of uh, hydrogen atom. That is also that. So this is about uh, a Rutherford's atom model. So according to Rutherford, he says that electrons are 
negatively charged particles they are moving around the outer space that means the extra nuclear region just outside the nucleus is electrons are moving in the space in circular orbits just like planets are moving around the sun and uh, <coughs> right so according to he could not explain many uh, many many points he is uh, he was not able to explain because when an object is moving around i suppose a charge is moving around the nucleus uh, it is in a circular path you know every circular motion is an accelerated motion in accelerated motion there is loss of energy because when charge is accelerated then electromagnetic radiations are produced so when the charges are moving around the nucleus due to continuous loss of energy the electron starts spiraling spiraling means its radius goes on decreasing 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 and finally it comes into the nucleus but in the actual practice the atoms are completely stable this kind of things does not take place this point was not uh, able to explain uh, the, 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 this this point was not explained by rutherford that was a great failure he simply said that electrons are moving around the nucleus in fixed orbits uh, in certain orbits they are moving in circular orbits only he said right but how this can happen because when the electrons are moving in a circular orbit um, every circular motion is an accelerated motion and also over and above this charges when circling that is an accelerated motion charges when accelerates uh, there will be continuous loss of energy when low uh, energy lost uh, its radius goes on decreasing and it starts spiraling around the nucleus and uh, uh, radius goes on decreasing 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 and uh, finally fall into the nucleus and it becomes unstable but the atoms are not unstable this point was not cleared by rutherford it was a great failure this is a limitation of uh, rutherford's experiment also you know sir you know that electrons on spiral around the nucleus and uh, its uh, angular velocity angular uh, frequency goes on increasing for example you uh, take a long road and uh, tie a uh, string uh, my string a, a thread at one end and other end of the string you uh, fix a, uh, a particle of mass and it goes on uh, rotating like this then what will happen the thread will come over the rod and the length of the rod between uh, length of the string between the stone and the rod goes on decreasing that time the speed of the stone increases that means angular frequency increases that means when the charge is spiral it due to energy loss its radius goes on decreasing when the energy goes on decrease sorry when the energy goes on decreasing uh, energy goes on decreasing losing the radius goes on decreasing and the angular frequency goes on increasing angular fre frequency is uh, uh, increasing because there is loss of energy every every moment uh, the energy goes on decreasing decreasing that means the atoms are emitting energy the so in that condition every moment the energy is decreasing means uh, the spectrum of the atom must be a continuous spectrum that must have almost all the wavelengths right but the spectrum of hydrogen spectrum etc when we have studied it is seen that it is not a continuous spectrum it does not contain all the wavelengths but only few wavelengths are also only present so we have seen that atomic spectrum is not a continuous spectrum but it is a line spectrum here also rutherford failed to explain right because uh, according to rutherford's condition uh, as the electrons move around the nucleus due to loss of energy it's a spy it will it will start spiraling and uh, hence its angular frequency must increase loss of energy is continuous hence uh, the energy radiated by the elect elect uh, electron must have wavelengths of uh, all values that means uh, the spectrum must be a continuous spectrum but it is not that like that so this was also could not uh, explain that uh, this also could not be explained by uh, rutherford right there these are the limitations of uh, uh, rutherford and that is why uh, neil bohr has to modify the atom atom model so that we will discuss in the next class this is ninth uh, uh sorry this is eighth uh, unit we will be going to finish this also this unit also very soon right tomorrow i will come with a new topic in this lesson till then